Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's today's tip. Along the same lines as our last video, I want to show you how you can create some custom styles in SOLIDWORKS Composer. We're going to set up a style that will control the color of the actors it's applied to. A good example for this would be changing a number of parts in an assembly to your company's color or the color of a company that you're building for. I'll show a little more of that later, so let's just get started. I have this assembly, but instead of having all these parts orange, I want them to be a blue color. I'll create the style first. Let's go to Workshops and then Styles. We need to create a new style which is done with this blank page button. I'll just keep the default name for it. Now there are a ton of options for what you can change in the style. We won't touch on many here, but they can be pretty powerful and useful. First off, I want to check the family. In this case, generic is fine, but we could change it so that it can only be applied to things like annotations or callouts. Now if we look for just the plain color property, we won't find it right now. There are a few ways to access it though. We could use this button, show all properties, but that pulls in a lot and we would have to search through a lot more options to find what we need. So I'll switch it back to show style and selection properties. Now I'll just click on a part and we should see the color option pop up. I'll check the box and if we deselect the parts, we can still see it. Next, it's just as simple as selecting a color and our style is basically set up. All we need to do is apply it to the parts. Click the styles tab, select your part, and then click the style you want. If we deselect, we see the parts have now changed colors. We can easily change them again just by changing the color in the style, as long as the parts have been subscribed to the style. Thanks for watching. Contact me if you have any questions, and have a nice weekend.